When working on multiplication, children will begin by using real life objects, the number line and repeated addition before moving on to using arrays. In order to use the formal method of multiplication, children must be able to recall the multiplication facts up to 12 by 12, have secure knowledge of place value, be able to use and apply their knowledge of multiples of 10 and 100, be confident in using column addition and column subtraction, especially when carrying numbers in their head. In this example, we are calculating 54 multiplied by 26. Start by setting out the calculation correctly. Write the first number. Below this, write your second number, ensuring the place value is correct. To the left of the calculation, write the multiply sign. And underneath, draw one line. To start with, we will multiply the ones. Six multiplied by four is 24. As we are dealing with the ones column, we will record the four in the correct place and the 20 in the tens column. Now multiply 6 by 50. 6 multiplied by 50 is 300. Add the 20 from earlier leaves us with 320. We will now move on to the tens column. 20 multiplied by 4 is 80. As we are now working in the tens column, we can record both digits under our previous partial answer. Twenty multiplied by fifty is one thousand. Both these digits can be recorded. We will now add our two partial answers using the formal column method of addition. Begin by adding the ones. Four, add zero, is four. Twenty, add eighty, is one hundred. Three hundred, add zero, add our one hundred from earlier, is four hundred. One thousand, add nothing, is one thousand leaving us with a final answer of 1,404. This method can also be used for multiplying decimals, but do ensure the place value is correct before you begin.